Hey, what's good? It's your boy Matthew Michael coming at you with episode four of Unusual Options Activity. If you're new here, please be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification icon so that you don't miss any future content or giveaways. I post new videos every week and I would absolutely love to have you as part of the family. Also, while you're down there, please be sure to smash the like button because I'm about to come at y'all with some straight fire. All right, so in this week's episode, I think I'm on to something. This is not something that I created myself. I'm not taking the credit for this. I was actually doing some research and searching through different online resources. I found a way to find unusual options activity that will give more detail than bar chart does. So in this video, we're kind of going to change up the way that we have been looking at unusual options activity. So in this week's video, we're going to look at unusual options activity, but we're not going to use bar chart. We're going to look at it and we're going to find it in thinkorswim. So if you don't have a thinkorswim, you might want to think about getting one. But yeah, in this video, I'm going to walk you through everything I learned about finding the unusual activity in thinkorswim, about how to confirm or at least or at least decide whether or not the probability is strong that they bought the contracts instead of sold the contracts. And then, of course, we'll be purchasing the contracts and following how they do. But just a couple more things before we get into the video. If you haven't already, be sure to sign up for Webull. Uh, using my referral link down below in the description. It really helps to support the channel. And not only does it help to support the channel, but also when you sign up and make a small deposit, you get two free stocks valued up to $1,400. So yeah, if you decide to do that, thank you and you're welcome. And one last thing before we get into the video, I'm just going to take my Instagram and I'm going to leave it right here. And without further ado, let's get into the video. <music> All right, so for this week's video, we did things a little bit out of order. And when I say we did things out of order, uh, I kind of already bought the contract that we are going to be picking up today. So yeah, instead of talking, I'm just going to hop in Tastyworks and show you. Okay, so here we are in the mobile Tastyworks platform. And as you can see, we're holding one contract for ticker symbol A. It expires in 60 days. This is a 97.50 call. And as of right now, we're down $13 on it. So its current value is $161. So yeah, that means we purchased it for $169. And just to update you on what happened with the last contracts, most of those contracts we had last week expired worthless. I'm pretty sure they all would have expired worthless. I was able to sell out two of them and preserve my money. The rest expired worthless. And if you take a look right here, these are all the trades that I have made since we have started this unusual options activity. So really right now, it's looking like we've only won on two of them. Uh, doing doing random trades off of bar chart the one that we bought today i'm going to show you the backed up i guess i'm going to show you my hypothesis but we're going to hop into thinkorswim and take a look at the evidence that supports this play we made today all right excuse the audio because uh i'm here on my gopro again but here we are in td ameritrade and we're going to be looking at uh, we're, we're going to look at how to find unusual options activity and we're going to be looking at how to how to tell if it was more than likely a bought option or a sold option. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. So in order to do that, the first thing, the first thing you're going to go to in your TD Ameritrade is one of these tabs at the top. It's going to be the scan tab. You're going to click on that. You're going to want to make sure you're on the stock hacker tab up here. And, and with that, you're going to want to make sure right here where it says stock, you're going to make sure, want to make sure you click sizzle index. And when you do that, you just want to click sizzle index. Mine are already loaded because I already did this search today. But yeah, you want to have this sizzle index. You want it to look like this. And then, yeah, you're going to hit scan. And then when you hit scan, you're going to look at the call sizzle index. You're going to look at the put sizzle index. And then you're going to see these numbers right here. And if you don't see them, you just have to go to your studies and you customize. There was a lot more stuff on this, but I took it, I, I removed all the unnecessary stuff. So on mine, all I have is I came over here, I added the call sizzle index, I added the put sizzle index, and I took everything off that wasn't the volume, the percent change, the description, or the symbol. Okay, and then once you did the search, you can look at the top 10, you can show however many you want. You'd like, if I hit top 50, the list gets longer. It's, it's sorted alphabetically. I like to look at 10 because it's less information. 
and it's easier to focus. So with this uh, index and how you identify the unusual activity, whenever you see, like if you look at the call sizzle index and the put sizzle index, it's heavier on one side. Right here, there have been a lot more calls made today than puts. And I'm not necessarily versed in these numbers, but it's seeming, it's seeming like the sizzle index numbers, you know, anywhere around one, uh, the lower the lower they are, uh, the less unusual activity is going on. So now with this high sizzle index number that we see, uh, we're going to take a look at ticker symbol A. So we're going to go to monitor, or we're going to we're going to go to trade. We're going to look at A. All right, and. We're in here. All right, we're in here looking at all these. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna look through all the contracts and you're gonna look for unusual volume. So right here, we're looking through the July 17th strike. This is kind of unusual. Uh, they did an option for 145 uh, call contracts. So that's a uh, kind of unusual compared to all the rest of them. But let's look a little bit further because that sizzle index, that sizzle index number was a little bit different. Okay, so just by going one month further, we see some serious unusual activity. So right here where you look at the volume, you can see that there is a volume of 3,012 calls that were made on this contract for August 21st at the 90, 97 strike. Okay, and also wanna uh, let y'all know real quick, if y'all's uh, call tab isn't set to show the volume, all you have to do is kinda click up here. You just uh, you just click what you wanna see. Where it says basic price and quote, you wanna click on volume, and that's how you get the volume displayed. Okay, but yeah, now that we see where the unusual options activity is, we wanna look at all the trades made today, and we wanna go in and figure out what time that trade was made and see what the chart did at that time. So that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna collapse these down and we're gonna take a look at the options times and sales. Okay, so let's look for that big order. Okay, so it looks like it, it looks like it was made right here at 1030, 2000, 2,902 calls. They were bought at 140, so about $29 less than I bought mine. I'm gonna be real with y'all. I don't know what the rest of this is, but it was bought at 140 and they bought 2,902 shares. That comes out to be over a $400,000 trade. So more than likely, I would say at this strike price that they know something. Let's go check the charts. We have the exact time they made a trade and let's see if anything unusual happened on the charts or let's, let's see how the chart responded. Okay, so here we are looking at Ticker symbol A. Purchase was made at 10.30. So actually, let's look at the one minute chart. And, oh, that's the 30 minute chart. Let's look at the one minute chart. And then right here in the 10.30 range, you can see that the price was pushed from $88.04. 88 you can see that it was pushed all the way up to $88.55. So likely what was happening was when the market makers were selling those shares, they were purchasing shares to cover their trades. And and because of that, this pushed the this pushed the stock price up real fast. Then shortly after that, it came back down. But from what I recently learned, this is indicative of them actually buying those shares. So uh, this this is my first time testing this out. We're kind of going to see. I've never done this before, but from what I just learned, that is indicative of a buy. So yeah, we picked up that contract you saw earlier and we will see how it does. And and I'll be holding on to it. I feel fairly com comfortable holding on to it because it has a decent amount of time on it. And, and we'll just kind of trace and follow and see how this contract does. But anyways, if you enjoyed the video, please be sure to smash the like button. If you got this far and for some reason you haven't subscribed yet, please be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification icon so that you don't miss any future content or giveaways. I post new videos every week and I would absolutely love to have you as part of the family. And last but certainly not least, thank you so much for watching and peace.